Now, the Directorate of Criminal Investigations has shifted his probe over the fake gold scam to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The DCI is probing officials at the Kenya Airport's authority over whether gold destined for Dubai was stashed at a warehouse what JKIA or not. Now, did the gold ever leave the Democratic Republic of Congo, or was it a plot by highly placed individuals in the country to reap off the Dubai ruler? All this, as Majority Leader Aiden Duale now dismisses claims of a plan to impeach Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi over the scam. Samogina kicks off our bulletin tonight with that story. The probe on the gold syndicate that has rocked the country and the United Arab Emirates has now targeted officials at the Kenya Airports Authority. Detectives now keen to know whether they said gold ever got in the country in the first place and if it was stored in a warehouse at JKIA or whether the narrative was a fabrication to rip off the Dubai ruler, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. But this is why we heard almost this five I'm months so ago. Sure. If uh, we know that they are in any movement on this gold and these things of these people, believe me, any movement will be a disaster for all of you, m uh, myself is included. A leaked audio clip between Bungoma Senator Moses Otangula and the Dubai based merchant indicating the gold from Congo destined for Dubai was being stored at JKIA. Not in my hands, it is in the hands of the state, like it was before. But a businessman Zahiri Janda, who claims to have been contracted by the Livia company to clear the gold from Kenya to Dubai, says to date he's still awaiting for the arrival of the consignment. We are waiting for the gold to come from Congo so that we can be able to export it to Dubai. And once the, the, the goods arrive in Kenya, I'll be told. With Congo naturally endowed with minerals, the precious stones are sometimes either smuggled out of the country in rebel-held areas through Uganda to Kenya. The Gold Syndicate Network compromising officers manning border points to allow the consignment to pass through undetected. Equally legit gold and diamond from Congo are usually ferried to a warehouse at JKIA where potential buyers will inspect and pay a down payment for their consignment after which they will be airlifted to their final destination after all taxes and levies have been paid. Reports indicate United Arab Emirates Ambassador to Kenya has dismissed any links between Dubai and gold traders involved in the disputed transaction. In Kenya, we have the UAE Ambassador. Why is he not speaking? Where is he? Because he should represent his country and say, yes, our government lost this money to Mr. Zaire or any other person and that we are demanding for either the goods or the money. This is the matter has kicked off a political storm. Majority leader Edan Duale now dismissing claims of our plot to impeach interior CS Fred Matiangi over the gold scam as alleged by minority leader John Mbadi early in the week. Days are gone when you carry the list to collect signatures in funerals, in political rallies, and in the restaurant, in the bar of the National Assembly, in the chamber so that nobody is coerced. So those people who are talking out there about impeachment, those are their personal statements. Early in the day, a section of leaders claimed the plot against Matiangi was politically instigated given his non-nonsense demeanor. What a Kazinjino or Gonadaka either Kufanya Vitu or Kora was about Jay is a straightforward minister, Dionana, one other man and Omiki, Natuna Jua, Ninani and Atuma Yua. And the people who are being targeted for corruption are the ones now who are now saying that look, so and so is corrupt. So it's a question of corruption fighting back. I ask my fellow politicians to leave Dr. Matiangi alone and to know that mentioning him will not slow down the investigations against some of them. Sam Ogina, TV, Nairobi.